Hi guys, this is Dr. Brian Off from Op Family Chiropractic. And today I want to talk to you about gallbladder surgery or gallbladder removal surgery. Did you know that 50% of those gallbladder surgery removal patients actually end up with an infection called small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, otherwise known as SIBO? And what is that? Well, SIBO is when bacteria from your large intestine or colon crawl into your small intestine and start to ferment food. When it does that, it produces a gas, either methane or hydrogen, or sometimes it's a combination of both, leaving you either with constipation, diarrhea, bloating, um, and sometimes people don't even get any signs and symptoms. They start to get other things outside of the gut, autoimmune disease, inflammation, achy joints, things like that. So why is this the case? Well, number one, once you remove the gallbladder, the liver can't concentrate the bile that would be normally in that gallbladder, so it ends up being very, very weak. So it can't really break down the fats that you ingest during your dietary day. It also, because it's so weak, it's not acting as that soap or that antibacterial that it also plays a role in. So now you start to have that overgrowth of those bacteria in the wrong areas. And lastly, without the bile, it, it can't stimulate the motility or the movement of the food through the gut. And when you leave food in the gut too long, there's the constipation issues. It allows those bad bacteria to really feed on that food just like you would if you left uh, leftovers in a car for a couple days in a 98 degree oven. Same thing's happening in your gut. You're growing bad stuff in the wrong place. You can't get rid of it. So why is this important? Well. It stops absorption of food, nutrients. It'll actually, those infections will eat your nutrients to stay alive as well. So now you become B vitamin deficient. You can become iron deficient. So a lot of anemias are not, are not due to low iron. It's due to the infections in the gut. So if you're having some of these issues or looking for a better way to help fix your gut, give our office a call. This is Dr. Brian Ott from Ott Family Chiropractic. I hope you enjoyed this message.